Hello everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we're going to learn how to crochet the extended moss stitch, which you can see here in front of you. This stitch is the same on the front as it is on the back. And the nice thing about this stitch is that it's fairly uh, loose in the way that it is worked, so it has lots of drape to it. I'd love to hear how you would use this stitch in a crochet pattern and you can let me know in the comments down below. Today for this tutorial, I'm going to be using a little bit of the paint box cotton ran yarn as well as a five millimeter crochet hook and you can find links to both of these items in the description of this video. Also in the description, you'll find a direct link to the free written crochet pattern on my blog at richtexturescrochet.com. Thank you so much for joining me. And uh, while you're here, I invite you to subscribe and take a look around. And I hope you enjoy this tutorial on the extended moss stitch. Our stitch tutorial today is worked in rows. So you're going to start by making a slip knot and then by working a foundation chain and your foundation chain needs to have an even number of chain stitches. So today I'm going to chain a total of 20. Once you have your foundation chain worked, you can begin row one by working a single crochet into the second chain from your hook and then into each chain all the way across. For row two, you're going to chain three, which counts as a double crochet stitch and turn your work. Next, you're going to work one double crochet into the second stitch. So your first stitch has your chain three coming out of it. Double crochet into the next stitch. Chain one, skip one, and double crochet into the next stitch. You're going to repeat that all the way across. Chain one, skip the next stitch, double crochet into the next. Repeat it all the way across to your final two stitches, at which time you're going to double crochet into each of the final two stitches. Chain one, skip one, your final two stitches, double crochet into both. That brings you to the end of your row two. For row three, you can chain one and turn your work. We're now going to begin working some of the moss stitch. So those first two rows were just kind of to set us up. What we're going to do for our row three is work one half double crochet into each of the first two stitches. So one at the base of your foundation chain, half double crochet, and then half double crochet into the top of the next stitch. Next, you're going to work a long double crochet into the top of the single crochet two rows below. So to work your long double crochet, you can yarn over, then bring your hook down to the single crochet two rows below. So you're going to work around this chain one space or over top of it, insert your hook into the single crochet, yarn over and draw up a loop to the height of your half double crochet. You're then going to yarn over and pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. Next, you're going to chain one, skip the next double crochet and work a long double crochet working over top of the chain one space and into that single crochet down below. So yarn over, insert your hook into the single crochet, yarn over, drop a loop, 
bring it to the height of your other stitches, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. With this stitch, you just have to be careful that you're not making it too loose. You don't want it to be uh, too sloppy and the stitch is kind of all over the place and you don't want it to be too tight either because the stitches will bunch together. You're then going to chain one, skip the next double crochet and repeat. You can repeat that all the way across to your final two double crochet stitches. When you come across to your final two double crochet stitches, you will work a half double crochet into each. So a half double crochet into that next double crochet, and then a half double crochet into the final stitch, which is actually the top of your starting chain three. That brings you to the end of your row three. You can chain one, and turn your work. For row four, you're going to half double crochet into this first stitch and half double crochet into the next. Next, chain one, skip the next double crochet and work a long double crochet into the top of the double crochet stitch two rows below. So again, you're working over top of that chain one space and working a long double crochet. Chain one, skip the next double crochet, the long double crochet, and work another long double crochet into the top of the stitch of the double crochet two rows below. You're going to repeat that all the way across where you will end with two half double crochet stitches. When you come to the end of that row four, you're going to chain one, work a half double crochet into your final two stitches. Chain one and turn your work. Now for the rest of the pattern, you're going to simply repeat your rows three and your rows four. So the row three was a half double crochet in each of the first two stitches, followed by your long double crochet uh, and your row four, which is the row that we just completed. Once you have done that, uh, to finish off your swatch or your project, uh, there is a way that I like to finish it off just to kind of clean up the top a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and work a few more repeats of rows three and four, and then I'm going to come back here and I'll show you how to work your final row. So I've now worked a little bit more of my extended moss stitch and what you're going to want to do uh, once you've come to the end you're going to want to end it off but if you end it off as is you're going to have these kind of holes up at the bottom up at the top and you may not want those. So what you're going to do it doesn't matter which uh, row you end on you're going to chain one and turn your work. You're now going to work a half double crochet into each stitch and then your long double crochet over each chain space. So for this row I'm going to work a half double crochet into each of the first three stitches. So a half double crochet into my two starting half double crochets, a half double crochet into the long double crochet, and then I'm going to work a long double crochet over the next chain one space followed by a half double crochet into the next stitch. A long double crochet over my next chain one space and half double crochet into my next stitch. And you'll see that's going to close off 
your top quite nicely. So you can repeat that all the way across at the end of this row, fasten off, weave in your ends and enjoy your extended moss stitch. So thank you so much for joining me. Once again, I invite you to subscribe and I look forward to seeing you again next Sunday for another quick stitch tutorial. Until then, happy crocheting. Bye.